Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems. So today we have got two systems to check out from the user Vincent's Virtues, so a massive thank you to them for sending in their simulations. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this. So, their first system of the day is called Trinary and Colourful. Okay, so this should be interesting, so let's uh, see what they have prepared for us today. So, come on game, you're going to open up. Oh, the game's really been slow recently, I've noticed, with the menu transitions and stuff. It never used to be like this uh, back in the old days. It's weird. Right, okay, so let's see what we've got. Right, here it is. So, yeah, Vincent Star and then Triary and Colourful. So, we'll be checking out this one first, and then the second simulation is that one. So, right, okay. Ooh, okay, wow, okay. A star system with three differently coloured stars that orbit a black hole and has a Hatsball planet around it. You should press the Q and the E key until you're viewing it at a 90 degree angle. Oh, yes, okay, I know, yeah. Oh, wow, look at this, okay. So, how does this work? Oh my god, okay. Now, that's something we've never really seen before. It's like one of those um, fidget spinner things. <laughs> it's spinning around. So, the three stars are all at perfect... I'm guessing they're all this exact same distance away from the black hole. So, they're perfectly uh, in line. I mean, that is... We've never seen someone build anything like this before. Like, having perfect distances like that, as far as I can remember. So... That's pretty cool. And what we'll do as well is, I think the trail colours are glitched. So what we'll do is, we'll quickly just fix them. So how they should be. So then the blue one, there you go. Okay, so there you are. So you can see the orbits are all perfectly in line. So we can see 12.1 hours. This one, 12 hours. Okay, so eventually it could break. And then this one's at 12 hours. So the 12.1 hours, if we ran it fast enough, I'll be interested to see what happens. Since the blue one is slightly closer than the other ones. So... There you go. So the black hole I'll see in the middle. That's our um, central object. So black hole. Looking pretty uh, pretty cool there. So yeah, black hole, 100 solar masses. Obviously, those are all sun equivalents there. Right, so hopping out into the system. Right, so this should be quite interesting to see. So, right, first planet. Right, okay, so we've got a bit of an ice glitch going on. So what we'll do is we'll just... Uh, you didn't see that. So here it is. So first planet. So this is Menace Tur. So it's uh, one Earth in mass. I mean, all the star colours on it, because it's red yellow and blue it kind of makes the surface look fairly uh, normal anyway but okay so let's have a little look in the sky so if you look up that's what you see and that's uh, look at that it, it, obviously the planet rotates the stars spin pretty cool there's another planet in the distance there look at that oh that's so cool so yeah, it's nice and simple nice and sweet so there we are all right so who we got next all right so next object out we have got uh kahu over here. So this one looks to be the Hatsball planet of the system. I don't know why it's minus 270 degrees. That's obviously a mistake in the game. So let's put it roughly to what it should be. 15. I don't know what all that what that's all about. That's rather weird. But yeah, that's um, probably what it should look like without the uh, lava. But I mean, why is it doing that? It's better to... Huh. That's weird. But yeah, there you go. So yeah, it's probably because it's exported from an older version of the game. But yeah, there's a, there's a rough uh, sort of good view of it from this sort of angle. So, yeah, what do you think of that? Oh, see, it's a good-looking planet. I like it. So, yeah, composition, let's check its stats. So, yeah, for, yeah, some good stats, fairly good stats on it. So, yeah, there we go. So, there is Kahu. So, yeah, looking good. No idea why it's... If we put it to zero degrees, it gets cold, actually. Okay, so maybe it is meant to be a little colder. Right, there you are. We've got the zones on as well. So, it should be in the uh, Hatable zone of it. But, yeah, there you are. Okay, so who have we got next? So, is this one, uh, Pegasi. So, we've got a gas giant. Looking good. Obviously, a bit of a bit of a different colours going on there. Obviously, oh, the zone looks really cool, but let's uh, turn that off. So there's all of our stars. Obviously, all orbs in there. That is really cool. I like that. So it's a really, really cool triple system. So, right, let's uh, land on the gas giant and uh, wait for the stars to rise and set. So where, where where should the stars be rising from? Come on, where are they? Okay, where, where whereabouts are they? Stars, hello. Up, oh, look in the sky. Where, where, there, okay, there they are. Right. Is he another planet in the distance? We haven't been to that one yet, so it must be something quite large. Slow down time, but I think this gas giant's quite a fast rotator, but obviously the stars all move as well. Blue star looks to be the dimmer of them. I think it's just because of the colour. But yeah, there's a sunset with all three stars. So now if we uh, turn around, we should see the sunrise. Where are they? Put labels on just so we can spot them. Stars? No? Okay, here you go. Sunrise. There you are. Yeah, really cool. Right, so there is Pegasi. Right, so who is next? So we have that other one. Yeah, this object here, this one appeared to be the biggest. So it's a Jupiter-sized world. It's got some um, rainbow rings as well. I mean, that's 
That'd probably make quite a good thumbnail, actually, with the uh, different colored stars, the different colored rings. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so there it is. Largest of the planets in here. It has a moon as well. So there it is. Okay. And these appear to be the most distant objects around these uh, around this triple star system. Yeah, I really like those rings. They do look good. And I believe that is everything around here. Okay, so what I want to try now is, like I said earlier, I noticed that this blue star, if we looked at it carefully, it had a 12-hour orbit. But the other ones had a 12 hour. Uh, was it 12.1? Oh, no, they're all back at 12, because I'm guessing it's balanced out. Okay, but what happens if you run it fast? Does it eventually break? That's what I want to know. So what happens? Does it... So let's try and go... We'll delete the ring so it can run faster. But do these stars stay perfectly stable for a long period of time? That's what I want to find out. And it does look pretty cool having this uh, light show going on. I mean, look at that. It's like a firework thing. <laughs> look at them go. Oh, my God. That is pretty hectic stuff. So they're all spinning around. Yeah, they look they look very, very comfortably stable in there. Obviously, all the planet orbits going around nice stable. It's a cool concept. I'm surprised I haven't really taken... Uh, that taken a note out of his book here and done something like this honestly i mean I've, I've done it in my own before but i've never actually done it in the video having stars at perfectly the same orbits from the central objects a good idea and yeah i wouldn't mind actually taking some inspiration from that because that is that's pretty cool but yeah that looks looks like it's perfectly fine i mean if we look at the uh 12.1 that's 12.1 hours again 12 hours and 12 hours so maybe the blue star slightly changes but other than that i mean yeah very very nicely put together very stable system there so looking good but what we will do is we'll run it as fast as it can go and see what happens. You can see the orbits are all um, a few little wobbly. That's to be expected. But oh, oh, ah, ha, ha. oh dear. I think that's because I'm running the simulation so fast. So, so I'm not going to put that down to the simulation. That was just because I ran it and the game couldn't process it quick enough. So yeah, there is that sim. Right, and next up from the same user. So we have this one now. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so Vincent Star. Okay, so we've got a large system. This is a system of Vincent Star. Um, XXII, so that is 22. Uh, Vincent Star 22, uh, pretty self expansion It's an orange dwarf with plenty of planets. The moon of um, is supposed to have a question like ocean because a few issues. Okay, right, so the star itself. So, like I said, orange dwarf, it's obviously got less than the suns in mass and stuff. So, there we are. Right, first of the planets, straight into a gas giant. That's a good looking gas giant. I like it. Very nice green there. Hmm, I like it. So it's a nice looking, nice looking shade there. Uh, next up, we have got this object. It's a VS twenty two C. So you can see there's a bit of a that weird glitch on it, but yeah, it's a red sort of variant of the moon there. We'll see a lot of craters um, going on as well. But yeah, there it is. So let's uh, just let, um, let the game uh, spin a bit. So there it is. So there we are. Let's turn that off. So one hundred twenty three degrees. So it is fairly warm. Right. Next up, we have got this green one. VS22, so we can see a well that is hatable. Let's uh, slow things down a bit. So there it is. So obviously clouds. Got, obviously got some uh, slightly frozen oceans, but yeah, still um, still oceans there. See, so yeah, got some good earth similarity, very high. Good stats on it there. So it looks quite like a swamp-like well. So I like it. So a wintry swamp well. There's that one. Next up, we've got this one over here. Okay, so there it is. So it's got two... Um, Fairly um, more bland sort of shape. No, no, never mind. It has got a bit of ocean on it. I think it's just a little glitch due to version changes. But yeah, there it is. Okay. Right, who we got next? There's a Barry Center in there as well. Interesting. Okay. Uh, VS22. So this is another Earth like world. You can see. Yeah, nice shades of blue on there. Not too much to argue about, really. Yeah, nice shades of blue. Very high stats on that one as well. Looking good. Okay. So what's this Barry Center all about? I'm guessing there's maybe two objects in here. Okay, ah, okay, so Barry Center's keeping these two at bay, okay. So we've got a moon here. Right, okay. And then there's the planet itself. So this is V, so the, yeah, okay, so V, S, or V, S, S, L. V, S, 2, 2, F. So there we are. And this one's also got a, a nice, um, yeah, 86 and 58, okay. Nice. Right, next up we have got this one. So VS22 Ice. This is the one he's talking about in the description here. Okay, so this one's got a set of uh, pink rings to go with it. Nice. Okay, so he said that the uh, moon... On a, so is that... This object here is supposed to have a ocean-like titan, but there's a few issues with it. It looks like it's um, looks like it's got um, an ocean under there. It's got the atmosphere all fine, so... 
Okay, I mean, yeah, it looks fairly all right. You can see the oceans are on there. It's got um, blacked out water. So yeah, it looks fairly, fairly decent. So there we are. Okay. Nice. So it's a purple sort of version of Titan, the magenta sort of purple, pinky shade. And then the other moon right here. So there's that one. Nice. Right, so now we're taking another jump out. So we did we do this one? Yeah, we did we did that one, didn't we? Okay, so next up we got this one over here. So we've got another gas giant here. Quite a mixture of different colour bands. It's also got a tiny moon with rings as well. Hey, nice. So there's the moon. Okay. Alright. So next up we are heading to this one. Over here, so we've got a nicer, more simple looking gas shunt there. Some nice mixtures of colours in there. Also some moons. So the first moon here. And the second moon is over here. So another uh, blue sort of shade. And we've got a few uh, ice oceans on it there as well. Okay. Right, next up we got this one. So we've got another, or more of an ice giant look here. Yep. Yeah. So nice shade of blue there. Also got a moon in the form of this here. So there we are. Okay, nice set of rings on that one. Okay, so where are we heading next? Okay, so we've got a few more. A few more after this one. So VS22M. So for another um, purpley sort of shade. So he likes his purple shades, doesn't he? So there we are. And then next up we got uh, this one. So another um, more normal looking gas giant there. Also with a moon as well. Another shade of blue. So definitely, they definitely like their blues and purples. So there we are. And then lastly, we have got this object over here. Another ice giant by the looks of it. Blue. All alone with no moons. So there it is. And yeah, that is the last planet in this system. So overall, very nicely. That was Vincent Star 22. And yeah, very, very nicely put together system. I have to say, nice different range of objects in there. There's the full lineup. So yeah, nice, um, nice comfortable list. Um, looking good, honestly. Yeah, very, very nice indeed. But yeah, with all that said and done, a massive thank you to the creator of these systems for uh, sending these in. So, yeah, he was Vincent's Virtues. So yeah, massive thanks to him for sending it in. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I've said the Triner in Colourful one, the first one we saw, really, really did like that. And yeah, I definitely want to take some inspiration from that with the way you set up the stars. I think that was really cool. Um, so yeah, with that all said and done though, guys, a massive thank you again to uh, Vincent's Virtues sending that simulation in. If you would like to send in your own simulations for this series, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, where you can upload your systems in there. But yeah, with that all said and done, make sure you guys all have a great day. Leave a like, let's see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video, guys. Subscribe for more as well, and yeah, I will see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.